So I was watching TV the other day, and this commercial came on for Dove, and it said they invited real women to try their product, since blow-up dolls don't use soap. My name is John, and I am a big guy. Random guys come up to me in bars like spring water and say, do you play football? My response to that is no, I'm a figure skater. The other thing that stinks about being tall is having big feet. I went to rent a bass boat the other day and they wanted one of my shoes as a trade-in. Recently, I took a vacation to the Grand Canyon and I got back to my hotel room and I took off one of my shoes and I found a tour guide wandering around lost. My feet are so big that I need a shoehorn section to put my shoes on. <laughs> so, everyone has a holiday these days. Mothers have Mother's Day. Fathers have Father's Day. And yes, even single men have a holiday. It's called Palm Sunday. I was at a Chinese restaurant the other day, and I noticed it was the freshest meal I have ever had. And then I realized why. It was next to an animal shelter. I thought to myself, hmm, walk in orders. I was chasing this girl with a hockey mask. I only wanted to know why she was wearing the hockey mask. So, I work up at the airport, and I got reprimanded on my job for trying on the windsock. I'm proud to say it was a perfect fit on my dick, that is. <laughs> yes. This guy comes up to me and says, can you tell me how to get to baggage claim? I told him, you can either take the elevator or you can go down the stairs. Let me repeat this so I'm clear. You can go down the stairs. He looks at the stairs, he looks at me, and says, but they only face up. It's at that point I did what someone should have done to his pregnant mom years ago, and I pushed him down the stairs. I was talking to this hippie chick the other day, and she asked me, do you crack nuts? No, no, I don't think I crack nuts. Well, who cracks your nuts for you? The store, I guess. Oh, so strangers like to crack your nuts. Well, you need to get in touch with your inner squirrel. Because at that point I informed her she was so worried that she could help me find my two inner nuts. <laughs> When I was a kid, I used to like to play a lot of Super Mario. And I've come to the conclusion that if someone had told me back in high school that all you had to do was to become a plumber, was take a lot of shrooms and stomp on turtles and pikes, sign me up, please, sign me up right here. But after doing some shrooms, I started thinking. God created man in his own image. So, what does the creator of the Mushroom Kingdom look like? Is he a short little guy with a beard that's Italian? Or is he a turtle with a bunch of funky pipes sticking out of his ass? We're gonna end on this one. I have this theory that a good night of drinking is when you wake up in the morning and you don't know where your clothes are. <laughs> Somebody in the back's done that before. Right here. This guy. That guy. A better night of drinking 
is when you wake up in the morning and you look next to you and say, damn, who's that? <laughs> but the greatest night of drinking of them all is when the cops show up on your doorstep with the handcuffs in one hand and your clothes in the other hand. I'm John Trask. Thank you very much.